really wanted to make this bath challenge like big, high production. So I included some separate DIYs within this video. I show you how I make glitterful soap and even a bath bomb. And I even fill shampoo and conditioner with glitter and then I wash my hair with it. I wash my hair and I bathe with glitter. I am having a giveaway where I'm giving away five $100 Visa gift cards. This is an international giveaway and if you want to enter, all you have to do is subscribe to this channel by clicking that red subscribe button and also subscribe to my second channel. The link to my second channel will be in the description below. So let me know in the comments what you think and what other weird bath challenges would you like to see from me? Let's get into the video. Let's get started. Taking a glitter bath definitely takes a lot of preparation. Oh, and before we get into this video, thank you so much to MAC Cosmetics for sending me all of these gorgeous metallic lipsticks. I will be using them in this tutorial today, so make sure you stay tuned. So the first thing I wanted to do before I took my glitter bath was of course to get ready. And I decided I wanted to do some glitterful makeup for my glitter bath because, you know, I'm all Already going to be having glitter all over me may as well make a makeup tutorial out of it so what I did was I took some of my Mac lipsticks that they sent me thank you so much to Mac I'll be sure to post the link to their website below if you want to check out any of these Mac lipsticks I took this purple and this blue lipstick I'll be sure to put their actual names in the description below I'm just you know not very fancy like that I don't remember the names but I took the purple when I put it on my eyes and I'm sort of using it as a cream eyeshadow and then I took some of my purple craft glitter here and I just pressed that onto the lipstick on my eyes and this really is a great way to press on some glitter without you know it falling off later on it stays on for a long time and look how beautiful and vibrant this color is so for my lips, I wanted to do something that was really crazy. This one is called Anything Once. I did show the name for this one. I love this metallic blue. I just applied this to my lips and then taking some of this beautiful blue, or should I say blutiful, <laughs> I'm a dork, craft glitter, I pressed that onto my lips with one of these small little brushes here. And this really just brightened my lips up. I actually used two different color glitters, and these aren't exactly cosmetic glitters, these are just craft glitters, but they're really tiny. I got them on Amazon. And now that my makeup is finished, I already pre-applied like my eyeliner and all of that. I just wanted to show the glitter portion. Look at Onky, isn't he cute? My little kitty Onky. He missed y'all, he hasn't been in a video in a while. So because I need something to bathe with in this glitterful bath, so I decided to take some of the soap and I wet it a little bit and I just doused it in confetti and glitter. I wanted to bathe with, yes, a glitter bombed soap. Now to make an actual glitter bomb, a glitterful bath bomb. I basically did the same thing to the bath bomb. I just wet it a little bit and I then rolled it into the confetti and the glitter. I have to say it came out pretty good. I mean, I wasn't expecting anything to stick to the bath bomb because of its ingredients, but hey, it did good. Now to make my glitter sham poop. <laughs> See the poop pillow? I just recently got that. I thought he was so cute, like pink poop. So cute. Okay, so anyway, what I did was I took some regular shampoo and then I filled it up with glitter because I am going to be washing my hair with glitter. I wasn't kidding. I'm washing my hair with glitterful shampoo and then I took some of this silver glitter and I just filled the rest of the shampoo up with silver glitter to where it was so dense with glitter. That's basically all it was was glitter so I technically was washing my hair with glitter I also created some conditioner to go along with it because you know I gotta keep my hair nice and soft with all that glitter in it and next it is time to get into 
the glitter bath. Now this part was so much fun because me and my assistant Ashley, she is amazing. She helped me fill up the pool with tons and tons of confetti, all of this chunky silver glitter. We even used like some super colorful glitter. We had such a ball, like filling this tub, filling this tub, filling this pool up with glitter. I think one of the best parts was just filling it up and just taking Snapchat pictures and just regular pictures. She was taking pictures, I was taking pictures of like this beautiful glitterful bath slash pool and it came out so gorgeous. I was really excited to get in it because Hey, I've never done this before. I didn't know how it was gonna react to my body when I got in it, but it stuck to me, which was amazing. This is the coolest thing I've ever done. I had the water really warm, so it was like a warm glitter bath. Upon sticking my foot into the water, it felt really strange because the glitter basically like suctioned to my skin. It stuck to me. Especially the silver glitter, that was the one that stuck to me the most. And I figured, hey, why not add more silver glitter to me? You know, gotta get that thumbnail, right? So I added more silver glitter and this stuff was not coming off. I was trying to get it off whenever I took a shower. By the way, it took me about an hour to take a shower and get all of this off of me and I had glitter all over my bathroom. So yeah. It was not fun to wash off, but it was fun to wash in. So after I was finished like rinsing off, I took, you know, my thumbnail pictures. I even took just some regular pictures. I decided to go ahead and use some of my DIYs that I made. I was very curious to see what it would be like to use the glitter shampoo. So I used that first. It basically just felt like a ton of junky glitter in my hair. Like my hair would not even lather up. It was really pretty, but oh my gosh, it felt so so gross <laughs> like after I was finished I was like oh my gosh I gotta get this off of me so then the bath bomb was kind of a fail this is a lush bath bomb and the glitter kind of inhibited it and stopped it from working didn't work out so well and of course you know the confetti on the soap caused it not to work very well either because obviously it was blocking the soap but this was so much fun Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you love glitter. Let's see if we can get it to 20,000 thumbs up for glitter, y'all. Hey, so I really hope y'all enjoyed watching me bathe in glitter. So remember to enter the giveaway. All the rules and the information will be in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and have a glitterful day. Oh.